Right, down. All right, this is the VC Walcott Hill Climb, 760 meters at 10%. Okay, right, so we start off at the bottom of this climb and it is very consistent climb, like super, super consistent. Um, mainly just 10%, doesn't really get much steeper, doesn't really get much narrower, uh, shallower, sorry. So anyway, started off and my pacing strategy was first 30 seconds, keep it below 800 and then just try and bang it in. But I was far too cautious, as you can already see, my watts are well below 500 watts and that shouldn't be happening. The first part, you should really be absolutely smashing yourself. You really want to positively split it, in my opinion, on these climbs. Other people may have slightly different opinions, but I really think you just want to try and hit like 5.30 for the first minute and just hang on as much as you can. But me, I'm being quite soft here, we're going well below 500 for the first minute. The first minute only held about 497 watts, I believe, um, which wasn't ideal. I should have held a little bit more. But anyway, the more from this story of this hill climb was that I did not go hard enough. And these two minute efforts are really hard to pace because in reality, uh, you basically just have to go so hard and just be on that limit. Talking about the climb, this is the steepest part here, it gets up to 13%. And then on this part, my mate, Andrew Kirby, did very well, came top 10, I believe. He's actually probably solid, unlike me, who's not, not incredible. But anyway, see this little path here? This is the smoothest part of the road. Anyway, hop on that, 12%, 18Ks an hour, just trying to bang out 530 watts as much as possible. Um, gear choice at this moment wasn't ideal. Clicked down a gear, I believe, just about now, and got into the perfect one. But I made an absolute crucial error. I clicked down one gear too much just before the finish line, and it was a bit of an error because it did grind up, and I really just couldn't get the power up. Anyway, here you can see the power is decreasing quite significantly, down to well below 400 watts, because I had to dodge that guy. Obviously, it's a little bit dangerous, but this road is pretty, it's like semi closed roads, so it's pretty good. Um, this was a great event, had an incredible atmosphere, and did like it. In terms of the climb, like there's nothing really to think about. It's like really not steep at all. Like max is like 16%, but it's like for a tiny amount. It never reaches anything over 20. It's a really fast climb, and especially because it's so short. But anyway, this is when I died 56 cadence in completely wrong gear, doing 430 watts. Absolutely nightmare. Anyway, not too happy. Managed to get second best students of the day, cut 10 pounds. I think I probably finished top 20 overall. Nothing amazing to write home about. Got a time of 2.20 and the winner was 1.58. So getting beaten by a margin of 22 seconds is not ideal. But anyway, I had freshest week this week, so you know it was quite a big day out. I hadn't had too much sleep, etc., etc. So we can't expect too much. Anyway, um, we will be back next weekend with the Seven Road Club, which is a similar climb, about two minutes long. And hopefully we'll be able to hit about 500 watts for two minutes, I hope. Anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this video. If you have any more questions about hill climbs or anything else, do let me know, as I know the hill climb season is absolutely nuts and everyone loves it. And uh, just be, feel free to listen to my ridiculous pain breathing after this, as I was cooked after this ride. Right, thanks. Well done. Well done. Well done.